The quest for Roberto De Zerbi's first Albion win brings us to the Etihad Stadium this afternoon. The Seagulls yet to take any points from a Manchester City away day in the Premier League after five attempts. The Albion did pick up their second point under De Zerbi on Tuesday night and they also registered their fourth clean sheet of the season. Oh, how a clean sheet would be celebrated wildly by the travelling fans today. Oh, and that's given away to Welbeck by Edison. Goes for goal, Welbeck, and that's just rising over Edison's goal. That's a terrible pass from Edison. Can count himself lucky on that occasion. City attack. Now the ball threaded through to the Bruyne and brought down there, is he? Robert Sanchez says no, but Haaland just looks and points towards Robert Sanchez. Well, the ball into De Bruyne in the left channel of the area is excellent. Completely split the Seagulls' defence. The ball in from De Bruyne isn't the worst, but, well, VAR are going to be having a look at this. There's a slight flick on the ball in. This is probably the best angle we will see. There are some studs on the bottom of Robert Sanchez's boot there on the left foot of Erling Haaland. Well, the boos will tell you for now that they're happy with Craig Pawson's initial decision. This is Rodri, a chance for McAllister to press on. This time, you see Lalana there as well. Now Edison this time thumps it down the middle. Oh, it could be a route one way to open the lead, and Haaland is in. It is a route one way to open the lead for City with just over 21 minutes played. It's the first time that Edison went straight down the middle and Haaland notches up his 16th Premier League goal of the season. Well, that may well go down as an Edison assist. Well, Sanchez just doesn't get the timing right and get anywhere near the challenge on Haaland. Straight out of his area as well. Here we see it again. Looks well onside there. Webster, it is playing him on. And Dunk was just caught napping. Webster did enough to get back. And it just rebounds off Adam Webster and into the path of Erling Haaland. First touch from Haaland is a good one. Well, there's a little shove on Adam Webster. He's only got eyes for the ball until that point. And they've done enough to win it back again here through Cancelo into De Bruyne. Good defending, though, by the Albion defensive unit. Now then. A chance to Trossard for drive forward, asking a bit too much there of Caicedo. And the turnover is quick, good nutmeg there from Mares on Lalana for measure. Bernardo Silva's made the run, backtracking his Webster. First time ball into De Bruyne, the man over his Greenish gives it back to De Bruyne. Splendid stop and blocked that from Lewis Dunk. Sanchez may have had it covered anyway. It's a really smart and incisive move from the host. Nutmeg got to start it off with Mares. Decent run from Bernardo Silva. Able to pull it back to De Bruyne. Good first time touch into Grealish. He then goes first time back into De Bruyne. And Dunk with the impeccable clearance ensures that it stays just 1-0 to Manchester City. Dunk looking forward. Clips that one up towards Gross. Decent chest control that from... Laporte, the ball away isn't the best, and again the Seagulls do overturn possession. Welbeck now trying to thread in Pascal Gross on the turn. Oh, and almost got the return back into Welbeck. First corner of the afternoon for the Albion. Exactly what the Zerbi will want to see. Lots of crimson shirts around the ball, high up in the city half. He's got some more work to do here up against Cancela. Bernardo Silva gets it back from Rodri. field to Bernardo Silva just scooped over to him barged off the ball again nothing doing again initially from Craig Pawson Bernardo Silva can't quite believe it and it's a good ball scooped into the area Gross is behind him the hands are up against Bernardo Silva and then just knocks into the knee of Lewis Dunk as it drops again it does catch Bernardo Silva the training leg Belatedly, Craig Pawson 
pulled across. Oh, it's there from Lewis Dunker. Not touched him. I mean, there was a huge phase of play after this incident. And as the ball drops, Bernardo Silva gets a touch on it, and his left foot clatters into Lewis Dunk's left foot. He's just hanging out there. And well, as we've seen the majority of time, and the referee is called over to the monitor. And it means that Erling Haaland has an excellent opportunity to double his tally for the day. Whistle goes from Craig Corson. Haaland, left-footed, into the bottom right corner. Sanchez was rooted. Thought perhaps he was going down the middle. He left the Spaniard with absolutely no chance. Another look at the penalty. Sanchez was thinking about staying down the middle. No full dive there. Clinical strike. This is where City can break forward. Caicedo doesn't get that one right. Real big chance here for they've got the man over in Riyad Mahrez. This could be three. Oh, good stop with his feet from Sanchez. Danger not averted just yet. Lamptey back there to help out again. Silva, they'll want to be careful not to concede another penalty. Haaland there too. McAllister does enough though. And they clear their lines. Good last ditch defending from the Seagulls and a last ditch stop from Robert Sanchez. Now down the other end of the pitch we go with the Albion. Welbeck the only one in the middle just yet, so they go to Trossard. Trossard with the effort, it's in! They've got one back! That is precisely what the Albion needed. Seven minutes into this second half, Leandro Trossard with his sixth of the season. And you can see they want to get cracking again. Brilliant strike low past Edison. They don't deal with it again. Laporte goes out to Akanji. Great work from March to apply the pressure. He's looked energetic at the beginning of this second half. And then Trossard gets it past Edison. No chance, really. Just thumps it past him. He's not too far away from it, Edison. See the challenge there from Caicedo. De Bruyne runs away from it. This was before the goal, and then... That could have sealed the deal for City. Kanji down the line for Foden. Neat first time ball in towards Haaland, but he can't find De Bruyne. Decent opportunity again for the Seagulls to break. Can they play marching perhaps? This is McAllister, who hits it! Oh, always rising over Edison's goal. Worth a go from there, though. That's what Brighton need to do more of as well, just have a go from time to time, not testing Edison enough when they have. Again, strong build-up play from the Albion. Chance now for City to drive forward. De Bruyne into Haaland for the hat-trick. Held up there by Webster. Still going, and then I think there's a slight nick on that. Greg Pawson says corner. Into the last 20 minutes. De Bruyne then. Looking to whip this one in. It's in towards the port. I wasn't sure if Sanchez got anything on it. Just wide it goes in the end. Robert Sanchez at full stretch to his right. Decent enough header, just wide of his post. He may well have been beaten had that been foot the either side of the post. Tempted flick on there from Pascal Gross, and Trossard does well just to shove off his man. Head down, striding out on this far side, looking for Welbeck perhaps in the middle. He's still going, Trossard off! Oh, really important save that from Edison. Well, I think everybody, including me, was hoping for the pullback into Danny Welbeck, trying to catch out Edison. Lung-busting run, that, from Leandro Trossard. Just keeps going on the angle. Welbeck wants it. Spreads his legs there, Edison, just makes himself big enough. That left foot to put it behind for the corner. And Albion here now not just to make up the numbers, but they need to be careful that they don't restore their two-goal advantage. De Bruyne with the strike, they've done it! It is 3-1 now to City. It's a sumptuous finish from Kevin De Bruyne. Brighton have worked so hard to play themselves back into this one. And with 15 minutes to go, City well and truly back on top. They restore their two-goal advantage, courtesy of a pearl up from Kevin De Bruyne.
Bernardo Silva, just the space opened up nicely for City here. Bernardo Silva cuts it across to De Bruyne, gets it out of his feet, and then shapes it inch perfect into the left corner.